I'm George Whipple. The Culture Project presented Twin Spirits, a play about Robert and Clara Schumann. It was part of the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the great composer's birth. The story is told by readings from the love letters between Robert and Clara. Robert is portrayed by Sting and Clara by his wife, Trudy Styler. For no two souls could be more close to each other, more married in eternity than ours. Now, your wife is a classically trained actress. How do you feel competing with her on the, uh, on the stage? Well, if I'm competing with her, I've lost. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. I'll just, I'll just try and hold my end up and you know, get the words right and don't stutter. So if I can do that, then it's a success. Trudy told us about the project and the other venues where they perform. It's a beautiful love story and it has amazing music. And um, Clara Schumann, I think, was a little known um, musician and composer, but she's, uh, she's getting now lots of play. A lot of female um, composers and pianists are playing a lot of her stuff, so I'm thrilled about that. And uh, we've done it about five times, um, mostly in England. Uh, did it once at Windsor Castle, once at Salisbury Cathedral and the Royal Opera House. Joshua Bell was part of the crew that performed Schumann's music. It's a very interesting way of hearing music uh, in the context of the letters of Clara and Robert Schumann. It's a very touching story. Part of the proceeds went to Music Unites, which promotes music in New York City schools. Schooling is not unfamiliar to Sting. He was once a teacher. Do you still consider yourself a teacher? You know, I, even when I was being paid as a teacher, I, I consider myself an entertainer, first and foremost. <laughs> Entertain people and they'll learn anyway. What many of you may not know is that during the American Revolution, the British soldiers that occupied New York cut down all of our trees and burned them for firewood. So perhaps Teacher Sting may have been aware of this fact and was making reparations for his countrymen. At Jazz at Lincoln Center, George Whipple, New York One.